Most of you probably know that last August I was working in the Victoria River country and in the Arnhem land completing the National Geochemical Sampling of Australia project. For the first time I took a video camera with me and this short film is the result of it. I have no experience whatsoever in making films so please forgive me any shortcomings. What I really wanted to show is a mixture of our work, a bit of humor and a beautiful country around. Did I manage to do it? Well, perhaps you can judge it for yourself. Tough life, isn't it? Very often our sampling points are located far from bitumen roads and in some cases indeed far from any road at all. But we are doing our best to get there, driving through bulldust, crossing the creeks and crocodile infested waters. But as you will see further in this film, this is not all about blood sweat and tears. During the course of this project we managed to see a lot of amazingly beautiful country like this one. I see trees of green red roses too I see them blue To myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. Well, the world is somewhat less wonderful than in Louis Armstrong's song along the road from. Uh, Delhi River to Port Keats. The distance along that road is about 100 kilometers and I counted along that road more than 30 car wrecks. Have a look for yourself. Louis, Luigi and Mary Lou Tom, Dick and Harriet, Dimitri too On the platform in the Melbourne rain Waiting to board that bigger train Cuba crisis, Bay of Peaks Dimitri's handing out the seats Anything's better than the old old cube Said Luis to Mary Lou But let's go back to our work the helicopter has arrived, we are in the airport in Jaburu and we are trying to pack our gear. Initially we had some problems with it, but uh, after some time everything perfectly fits in and we are ready to take off.
our team. We are about 10 days into our assembling program. Uh, we have three days to go of helicopter work. In the moment, we just sample Walker Creek in the Arnhem land. There's three of us in the moment. There's Paul, our pilot, flying us wherever we need. And there is uh, Darren, a technical officer for NTGS, and uh, myself. The three of us can manage about anything in the bush. at the banks of one of the branches of uh, Liverpool River in Arnhem Land. And this is our second sampling point today. The first thing which we do, arriving at every place, we measure the radiation. Because if the radiation is above certain level, we can't sample ground like that. In this case, it is okay. And most importantly, we have to take the um, GPS location of the place, of course. Ah. Oh, this is one <laughs> which got away. This is our second fish. While we're sampling, our pilot has some time to get some fish for us. Such a spiral's life, I suppose. Now we are applying this precision tool to take the deeper sample from 0.6 to 0.7 meters. And this is where they, we carry the sample, samples, in the back of the chopper.
two years, about 20,000 kilometers driven and over 200 hours in the chopper to get to this point. We sampled 280 points all over the Northern Territory. This is the last one, so this is the end of uh, the sampling part of the project of National Geochemical Sampling of Australia. Thanks to our team, to Paul, our pilot, who is no problem can set or let us down or land us within five kilometers from any sampling point. <laughs> thanks for Darren, who is the best shovel operator in the Northern Territory, and thanks to everyone. That's it, we finished. This is 18th of August 2009, almost exactly two years since we began the project. Thank you, that was fun. <laughs>